Okay, so we get a lot of requests, don't we, mate, about rig, rigs, rig, rigs and rigs. how to use them in certain situations, when to use them, and overall, what kind of rigs we're using. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go through three with you, uh, and this, well, the first one is what's caught me loads of fish this year, yeah. and my next two is, again, what's caught me a lot of fish this year, but it's what I'll be going to when it comes a little bit colder. Oh, I like that, more more finesse yes man. i'm all about finesse me you know i'm not just a beast and fill it in all the time why are you laughing as well rich have you heard these people folks right come on what's first up then right so first up is like the margin or mudline float yeah, man. so nice sort of rugby ball shaped float uh this has got a y stem it's that new flexi wire which i think gives it extra stability yeah uh nice sort of two mil bristle and i've shot it out with seven number eight stops and i've only got oh, a three inch mega up positive then, isn't it? really really eight. positive catches so many fish mate obviously We've been through things like this before in our videos and that. Yeah. It's all about picking out that spot, plumbing, as I think, to the bottom of the bristle, obviously conditions dependent, so that when a fish comes into it, when you're on a slope, you get that nice quick positive bite and it's on. There's no messing, yeah. no line bites or anything like that, because it's nice and positive. What depth is that in? So I'll be fishing this in two foot and less. I was going to say nothing less than two nothing, foot, typical of a, nothing a over two foot Yeah, so yeah. two foot and less. So yeah. ideally, you want to be in sort of 14 to 18 inches, don't you? Yeah. So, so when yeah. you like, obviously we've shown it before as well, where you can sneak the bait in. It's going to a little tiny, sexy pile. Yeah. Your yeah. hook bait's over it and it, it nails it. It is. The it's, ultimate it's a, stability rig in it for when they're rocking about in, in that much water. Yeah. When any just, other rig would be a mess. Yeah. That one stays still, doesn't it? I like Definitely. That. I like um, that. That's the one you get a tail coming in. You see it like coming like, towards it. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> a meter away. You're like, wow, says how big is that when my float goes under? Yeah. You come out with a good you're like, ah. <laughs> It does, oh, doesn't it? Yeah. You think it gets to it, and then it goes under, it's a little bug. You're like, like and you still see the big and like out with its tail down. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's, the, is that one for your box? No, you're not one. Is he going to have it? it? I'll have that one. He's having it. He's yeah, having the rig off me. I'm not going to need that heavy, so I'll have that one. <laughs> not getting anything that heavy? No, I'll have to retire it, though. Mate, it's just like proper stable. You have to retire there's always summer, isn't there? So, tell you what. Right, on to the next one. So, this is probably my favourite one in the world for like oh, now, yeah. all the way through until sort of like, well, it, it even worked like all the way through summer as well. Yeah. Um, it's a 4B11s rig. So, literally, four number 11 shot, spaced evenly up the line, carbon stem. Um, I'm only on what am I on this? I'm on 0.15 main line, and I'll fish like 0.10 up length on it. Yeah, so it's four a, to six a delicacy, inch. small Really fish delicate, up. mate. Spreading the shots out, and I've got the back shots on this one, so I'm holding a tight line to the back shots. Basically, when I lay the rig in, I'm holding a tight line so that that floats just coming in nice. That's and the rig natural. we used on Moors at Cudmore when we did that filming. Your deeper one. No, I think it was when we went on Arena when you smashed them down the edge. Right, right. When you were like, yeah. on. I think yeah. I used these on the natural, on, yeah, on the normal, well, yeah, normal bait. Maggots and casters and that, sure. Right, and with you, yeah. And then the pellets long. It just, it, it's one of them rigs. It, it tells you where the fish are for a start because it's falling so slow. Yeah. So obviously, you floats at that angle, you know you need to come shallower. But it's just so delicate. The fish don't realise they're all, you just, you don't get the nice yeah, quick there's bites. There's no resistance whatsoever. Nice slow bites, and it's just on. And mm. you're fishing it with a couple of like dead soft elastics, so like you get 10 foot of elastic. You find out. it's best for not oh. fish that are really shallow, like sort of 15 inch and below to about it's two and a three foot. Ideally, two foot plus. Yeah, you, you want it's that bottom you want end it, of the shallow fishing, a isn't bit it? The deeper, the better, really. So, yeah. like three to four foot is a prime depth for it. Yeah, if the fish it, is shallower, you tend to get a little and yeah, you don't get a bite. That's when you want right. a little rig. The, the float's like too big for it, it's just not the right yeah, shape. It's just falling at a That's when the nice, I like that shallow style of fishing. It's weird when you get bites on that rig. You get a, excuse me, full of wind today. What's up with you today? Full of it, aren't it? Because it's been eating all these marshmallows. <laughs> when you get a bite on that, it's weird. You get a bite and you hook it. Yeah. Whereas when you come shallow, you get a bite and you miss them you all. You miss it. It's dead weird. They're happier to feed, aren't they? Two and a half foot. This time of year, when they're willing. Definitely. That rigs, I love that type of shallow fishing. I it's want to do just, that now. And the hide as well. Obviously, there's a lot of hide in our waters that we fish, and they just, yes. this proper nails them. This side hook in a maggot with quite a big hook well, on. You won't ban them. Normal hook. I don't ban maggots, mate. I don't ban the caster, but I just like, I, I like side hooking a maggot. side hooking a maggot with a big 16 or 16's something. 16's Black Gamma or even a 16's yeah. F1 pellet or something like that. Or yeah, a 16's uh, Guru maggot. Anything like that. Just a nice big hook. Yeah. I think it's spinner. irrelevant when, it, when you're hooking it through the side because the fish are coming in on that different angle, aren't they? So they're not seeing it. Yes. But yeah. also light wire as well. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? Well, it's like parachute, isn't it? Yeah. That, that flat maggot goes down lovely, yeah. It makes a massive difference. I'm not saying use like a, an extra strong Camus 911 or like a big Kaizen or something no, like no. That, that just would not achieve what you want it to do uh, but fishing nice light balanced gear with that and like a nice single 60 elastic what it'd be just phenomenal yeah be a lovely you're not having that one. Bait. no yeah. he's not having that well, one. Let me have that one <laughs> and then 
so that's probably me, me, me all time favourite sort of like coming up when the fish are like, they're still feeding a bit, but when it goes like proper, proper hard, proper cold, mm -hmm. uh, this is the one that I come on to. Now this is, it takes 13 number 10 shot. Now where I'd use this would be out in open water for sort of like roach, uh, even skimmers, you know, like if you want too much wind on a venue. But this is more at home for like a snake lake down the middle. Yeah, down the I track, love that style it. of fishing. How good is it, Jay? Yeah. You know, I think we covered it at uh, Heronbrook. I got a little bit giddy with yeah, the feed yeah, though. Yeah. I, was, I was loose feeding, wasn't I? <laughs> this is like, you know, putting in 20, 30 maggots every like 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, it's your leaving last it, half hour, isn't it? Yeah, you, you're leaving rock it for like three, three and a half hours and you see a bubby like, <laughs> <"Who's one there?" laughs> and honestly, folks, it's so good. Again, I've got back shots on. Uh, I've got a bulk of 10 number 10s uh, and then three number 10s, quite positive droppers. Yeah. Uh, I've changed, I used to always use 11s, but I've gone up, gone completely away from that more when positive. I'm fishing on the bottom, yeah. I don't think bites get, a lot, I think you might as well get heavier because it's more positive, isn't it? To an extent. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? With maggots, you don't want nines. No, definitely 10s, it just, it gets done, doesn't it? It is, I mean, all them bites it used to get when I was using lighter shot, they just sort of shake your float, but on this, you can have it dotted like a mil or two mil and you get like a nice positive bite. Yeah. Once it's took that bait in, it's on with the droppers on that yeah and it's just it's a fantastic way of fishing you're holding a tight line again you're watching it come through so you can check the fish on the drop yeah but with the beauty of this rig with that shot the bulk of shot gets the bait down nice and quick and then the next sort of like 18 inches where i've got my droppers yeah that that's where the nice fish are that just comes in lovely. yeah you're not wasting time laying a, a girly rig in in six foot that takes you 20 no, seconds no you're bombing it down and you're getting, getting the best in down. that last four or five seconds yeah that's what's getting you to bite so good it's efficient as I, well i've changed again I've to, it's you change you're changing everything <laughs> i do jay i used to go down like the four tens even four twelves in like six foot of water yeah that's what i used to I mean, don't get me wrong there's situations time and when, a place for that yeah, yeah when, when it's, it's like rock proper, bottom proper cold yeah uh, but now when the fish are having a bit of chew that last what hour of light or something mm -hmm. and they're coming into it get down to them quick and it's just for yeah with that ring you catch 10 Whereas yeah. a girly rig, you catch six. Definitely. Just because of time and yeah, yeah, just yeah. not being quite, it makes just a difference. Just getting down, once you're down there to him, it's all about what's going on at the bottom end. Mm -hmm. If presentation's right, your hooks and your, your line's right, you're not going to miss out. Yeah, it's so, perfect. So, yeah, them are my three pretty much favourite rigs for, well, certainly what I've been doing this year. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're North West wigs, aren't they? North West wigs! North West! We're from the <laughs> North West! We ain't no from Dan, sir! But it is, isn't it? They're girly, I thought he nicely. Yeah, I'm looking forward definitely. to do some of that fishing now after the it's, summer of carp fishing. It's the time of year now, obviously, we're coming a bit colder, it's catching everything swimming, and certainly these two rigs here are yeah. going to catch everything swimming. Yeah. Can't miss out on anything, mate. Well, I'm having that one as well. Why are the weird ratings on them? It, it's, they're not weird, right? How dare you, so. Right. I think the simplified ratings for Andrew, simplified honest, for me. I, I know that <laughs> like I get that float out and it says 13 number 10s. I'm like, ah, oh, what's that in grams? No, no, no. I know that float takes 13 number 10s. You put four number eights on the phobia. No, I don't. And look at this one here. <laughs> that says I did that when I started. I mean, I'm gonna start windmilling a bit, folks. I am. And that says four <laughs> number eleven. So I know that that takes four number eleven shots. How easy okay. is that? Come on, it's proper easy, isn't it? It is nice and simple, I like that. Cheers, Nath. Yep. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.